Chapter 7 Beloved Kokua led the small fleet of boats eastward, carrying all of the Lokahi tribe members he had chosen. They sailed toward the rising sun in search of Kailana. Before long, they spotted the large boat that belonged to the four visitors. The sun shone on the upper deck of the boat as it was rising, and Kokua could see Kailana. She was on the upper deck, and her face glowed in the morning sunrise. She held up her hands and looked up at the sky. Kokua also saw the visitors on the upper deck of the boat. They stood behind Kailana, and their hands were also raised, and they were also looking up at the sky. Because all of the visitors were standing with their hands raised, looking up at the sky, there was nobody to sail the boat. And so, the boat stood still, in the middle of the ocean, amidst the rising sun. As Kokua and the others from the tribe drew closer to the boat, he heard Kailana's voice singing a new song. It was a hopeful song, and it spoke of peace and love and forgiveness. The song had touched all of the visitors deeply and had put them into some sort of a peaceful trance. From their boats in the ocean, all of the members of the Lokahi tribe were beyond words to express what they were seeing and feeling. And then, Kokuo realized that Kailana's mana had turned the hearts of the men around and that Kailana would be allowed to get off of their boat peacefully and travel back with her tribe to her beloved island. And then, right as Kailana's song ended, a brilliant white light descended to the waters from an opening in the sky, and a multicolored waterfall of warm rain came showering down upon all of them. And at that moment, the power in the heavens touched the strength of the ocean in ways that nobody had ever before seen and would ever see again. I see my beloved daughter, Kokua said with tears in his eyes. And then he said loudly and firmly, Kailana, my lovely daughter, come back to us now. <laughs>